Hi guys. Doing Gaussian splatting maps was very complicated as far as I knew until this morning. This morning I found out that finally somebody has made a software that is able to do Gaussian splatting maps very easily and not only that it can make uh, videos out of the maps and it was used in Azure's new video like here I can show you guys it was used to do a bullet time so basically bullet time is like in matrix when Neo is shooting and suddenly time stops and the camera is panning around him and here it is in uh, Azure's video they are chilling and time stops and you get that and you can do that very easily with this and how you do it is basically you download the software from Joset and it runs if you have a GPU better than uh, NVIDIA RTX 2060 I have 3060 so it works so you open the software and then you just drop your pictures here you could drop a video but I don't know I, I imagine it's gonna be fixed and it's gonna work fine in the future but as of now for some reason it generates black and white uh, stuff but anyhow um, I have broken a video into frames in which I was circling this chair here I put my uh, guitar on it and I was circling it with camera and I just took the images like that and I drop them in there and what, what it starts to do it tries to figure out where the camera was when it was filming and it tries to figure out the 3d world and here is you can have like a stop training so it doesn't do it too long but then you just press import and interesting it didn't work um, let's see I probably have something forgotten in there um, I think it's because let's try it again um, And it does that. Sometimes it says that camera tracking reported. Most of the time I think the problem is that it has trouble figuring out the world. But let's try again. And this is very realistic error. This is a very realistic error because it does happen. Let's start the software again. Sometimes this fixes it. I don't, I don't know why, but it is still like it's just out of beta version, I think. And okay, now it's doing it. It's uh, pre processing the images, and this is what Gaussian splatting uh, software did when you had to do it manually through a uh, DOS window. But now it's all automated, so you don't have to worry about this anymore. And this is actually a plugin in, I think, uh, Adobe After Effects. Um, another really cool thing here is if you have problems you can just go to help and user guide and it opens this very handy user guide where you can see everything is explained to you so I don't have to explain it to you because you're gonna understand it yourself very fast but so now it's still figuring out this camera tracking so it's figuring out how the uh, cell phone camera was moving around the object and here we go here we go it's starting to train and what that means is that now it has figured out you guys can already see it's kind of a figuring out how the room looks and these little boxes here these are basically the cell phone cell phone uh, and it's like what direction it is looking at like this is, here is the point where it's looking from and then that box it's where it's looking at and you can already see there's a computer here and there's a TV there and uh, so forth and so forth and so forth and slowly it's gonna suddenly pop into color and so forth but I can stop this because I already have done this uh, I can show you guys this is already rendered scene so here is the pretty much the shot as it ended up and this was uh, this was uh, the rendering was uh, stopped because it went over the 30,000 iterations it, it wasn't this wasn't a complete train it was I think 67 percent but yeah now we can move in this and we can do all sorts of stuff and we can make videos in it 
One thing that's a very good idea is to figure out how you move in this. Basically, you can use uh, WASD like this. But then another thing is that you can have one, two, or three press down, and then if it left or right mouse click, you can do all these different uh, movements. So you can make videos by uh, using keyframes. But before you make a video, you have to add a camera. So what you do is you create camera, then you select the camera from here, and then you can see here in the bottom um, there is frames from 0 to 240. And what you do is you add keyframes here. And there's the keyframe button, you add a keyframe, you go to another part, you add a keyframe. So you can move around here and then you add a keyframe and you go all the way to the bottom so you create the scene and then you can turn that into a video by pressing render. I have already made a video so you guys can see there is a video here. Um, for whatever reason it is only on this part, little part of the screen but I think that you can you can fix it with CapCut of course you can stretch it to fit the whole screen or probably there's a setting somewhere that helps you do it but I think this is pretty much how they made the Usher's video. There's also like all sorts of stuff you can find out here is uh, you can get rid of these uh, there's the where the camera was and all that or uh, all this other stuff but um, it's a very cool tool. I hope you guys are doing well and bye.